Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and welcome to another free CAD video. This time we're looking at the part design and the tool, the part design mirror. And we're going to be looking at four things that you may or may not know in there. So we're going to be looking at mirroring by reference, mirroring by construction, mirroring by a reverse clone, and also the ordering of the parts you're mirroring and how that has an effect on your final output. So I'll be showing you these tips with a simple shield that we will mirror and we'll learn how to mirror that and how to mirror it by these different techniques. If you like this video, please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel. I also have a Ko-Fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0. So we're gonna first create a simple object and then we can explore the actual mirror feature. We're in the part design and we're gonna create a new body and create a new sketch and use the XY plane. Okay, that. We're gonna create a simple shield. So I'm gonna put in a horizontal line and also a vertical one. And I'm gonna use the three point curve, which is available from here, endpoints and rim point. And we use this to adjust our radius there. I'm not gonna bother about constraints for the speed of this, this is just a demonstration. And we're just gonna use some padding on there. So I'll come out of the sketch, I'm gonna use some padding in there. And 10 millimeters is enough for what we want. So we've got a simple shield shape. Now I want to mirror this along this edge here. And also I'm gonna try mirroring it along the other edge. We're gonna make sure nothing's selected and we can start by using the create a mirror feature. We'll come up to the part design, apply a pattern and mirrored. Straight away, it's actually mirrored part of that feature over. Now the first tip is to come down to here and to use the select reference. So say if I had a number of edges around here and I want to mirror around some of these edges, we've already mirrored over this plane here. And I'm just gonna get rid of that for a second so we can see that's an invalid mirror there at the moment. I just picked the horizontal sketch axis, which we can't mirror over. That's transformation is failed, so that's invalid. I'm going to use this plane, use the drop down and use the select reference. And I'm going to select this face here and that will mirror across there. Or we can use that again, select reference and use that face there and that will mirror across there. Also select reference and use the top there so it stacks it on top. So this makes it a lot easier to determine what plane we want to mirror this over or what feature we want to mirror this to. So I'm gonna select this plane here and hit okay. Now that's mirrored it over that plane. One thing to remember when we mirror is that this tip has moved to this mirror now. So if I click on this mirror, this is where we are. And anything we do on this mirror even if it's on the face that has been mirrored. So if I just hide that, so I press in the space bar on the mirror, I'm bringing back the pad. Anything that I do on here won't get replicated over to the mirrored feature. This is as one. So for instance, if I bring back the pad and try to use that face and create a sketch upon there and place something like a square on there, like so, and close that, making sure our sketch is inside our body which it is, and we pad that up. You can see nothing has happened on the right hand side. It's as though this is one object, and that's exactly what it is. And though it says mirrored here, we've still just mirrored that feature, but we're not actually mirroring any amendments to that feature. It's still acting as the last action. So anything we place upon here won't get mirrored over. To do that, we need a clone. So if I was doing that, I'll come in, just remove that sketch and I'm gonna remove that mirror. So we've got the original pad. Now we don't use the clone in the part design, which is here, B 
because that will just create a standard clone here, which is sitting behind here. You can see the green dots there. And if we transform that, right click on the actual body we've created and make that active, let's transform that. You can see that's sitting there. We could flip it around, but that's not a true mirror because if we had some features on this side, let's get rid of that body. Let's stick some features on this side. So we're placing it on this face here. We've had a feature here and I'm just gonna create a circle in this corner. Close that and pad that circle like so. Okay, so we've got that feature there. If we try to clone this body and transform and move it over to this side and try to flip it around, then that feature is going to be on the back. What we can do is come into this body and we'll use a clone, but in the draft. These two clones do differ. If I clone that now using the clone tool or the modifications clone, that'll create a clone. So we clone the body and the body was original selected. When we clone this, if we come down to the scale and we look at our handler, so X is this direction here going this way, come down to our scale. And if we use X as one, if we put a minus value in there, like so, then it actually mirrors that. So we've got a mirror now of that side. So anything we do with this side, let's come back over to the part design and place a sketch upon there. And it didn't actually attach. Let's click on that face, create a sketch, and we're gonna create a slot, say close that, and we'll pocket that slot. You can see that's been cloned on the other side as well. So we've got exact symmetry across those two. So those two clones do differ. Let's get rid of that sketch. And I'm gonna get rid of that clone as well. I'm gonna come back into this part design and we're gonna look at something else with the mirroring. So we've got this feature here. Let's make this feature a bit more complex. And I'm gonna get rid of this pad. Instead, I'm gonna pocket this to about that length, that's okay. And then I'm gonna click inside here and create a sketch and add a circle. Close that. And now that's pad that circle. And we're gonna place this at something like 20 millimeters. So we've got this feature here that's sitting there. That's okay that. Let's go back into our mirroring. So we've got our mirroring here. Got nothing selected, make sure nothing's selected. So I've clicked on some blank space in the mirroring. You can see we've got a number of items here that we can pull through. I'm gonna pull through all of them. So I've selected one, hold down either the control and selected the individual ones or select one, hold down shift and select them all. Okay, that. Now we've got our mirror. Now we can actually change the order of these. So our pad was the original pad, then we pocketed and then we padded this sketch here. We can change these, the order of these by clicking on one and dragging it up like so. You can see the transformation didn't really work there. So let's bring that down and that's okay. So let's change where the pad sits. So let's pad that. You can see we've got changes on the right hand side here. And I've moved the, what I've done is we've got the pocket and I've moved the pad down. So you don't see the pocket there. We've just got that feature there. So we can change the order here to get rid of certain features. So I've just got this feature here. And we can move these about inside here. Let's cancel that. And let's have a look at another feature that we can actually add to this. So we've gone back to our original. We haven't got any mirrored items in here. I'm gonna come into this pad here 
which was the last thing we did with this sketch. And I'm going to mirror this feature. So I'm going to mirror this feature here. And I'm going to mirror it to somewhere over here. Now what we can do is come into the sketch and add a line and change this to construction geometry. So I've added a line in here. And what I need to do is come into the body, press spacebar. You can see that line is sitting there and it's gone into error because that's not construction geometry at the moment. So I'm going to click on that line and we're going to change that to construction geometry with toggles the toolbar or select geometry to from construction mode. Click on that, that's construction geometry now. Hit close and that's bring back our body so we can see it. So at the moment we've got this feature here. I'm going to click on that feature and I'm just going to mirror that feature. So I come up to the mirror and you can see the transformation has failed at the moment because we tried to mirror that feature over here. If I come down we can see construction line one is now an option in here. If we click on that, that mirrors over that construction line. Hit OK. We've now mirrored the feature using that line as reference. We come back into the sketch. And also we need to go to the model and just hide that body. And we can move this, say over here. We can see the mirror has failed. That's taken it too far out. Let's put it a bit nearer. Or oh, let's place it, let's say, to about here. And look back at our body. Come back to task, close. You can see that's mirrored across that construction line. So that sketch, just hide the body by pressing spacebar, has got construction line there. You can also place another one in here. Hit escape, click on that, change that to construction geometry. Close that. Let's bring back the body by pressing the space bar on that to make it visible. And double click on the mirror. Come down to our drop down, you now see construction line two. Click on that. We're now changing between those two construction lines. That's quite a handy feature for the mirroring of those features across there. And get rid of that mirror and also get rid of the sketch, which will kill the pad. Let's delete that. We're just going to leave that one in there. I was going to get rid of it, but I'm just going to leave that there. I'm going to create a simple mirror again. And we're going to pull both of these through. Hit OK. So that's mirrored over there, which I want. Okay, click OK. So now we've got that mirror going across there. I'm going to create these two as one face. So we click on the mirror. You'll see this option here saying refine. Drop this down to true and click off. That's created that as one face. So I can use that as a single face to place sketches upon. But please be aware, if I place a sketch across here, spanning those two faces, hit close, and then create something like a pocket on there. Okay, that. If I come back to the mirror and change that back to false, then this may break the surface. But as you can see, we're okay there. So you have to be very wary with refine because it may break items that are placed upon here. We're okay with this sketch, but certain items that are attached to this may cause you an issue. So just be wary of using refine there. But it does mean that we can create a single face upon there if we so desire. So that's it, a few tips and a few things that you may not know about the part design mirror and also throwing in the draft clone tool there as well to show you how you can mirror across features with that tool. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again soon. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to my site and also I have a Ko-Fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds, dollars, or whatever your currency is. And that's at ko-fi.com slash M-A-N-G zero. And there you'll be able to 
help me fund my site and all the money that I actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. I'll see you next time.